Hi, I'm Kiyo Ishikawa from Mount Sinai. I also work on pigs, and it's been almost one and a half years since I first put Impera in one of our pigs. But I still remember this first case. Uh, it was around four months old female patient. Uh, had, unfortunately had a uh, recent MI. Seems like somebody put a balloon inside the coronary, inflated for a long time. So my patient had an, yeah, my patient had an anterior MI with a reduced ejection fraction. I, we put Impella CP and a pressure gasker, and we found a highly elevated elastic pressure. Unfortunately, it already moved, but uh, we increased the flow gradually. So P4 reduced a little bit, P6 reduced more, P8. It's more. And it, it is of note that this pig, P1 was already effective, and the initial EDP was over 30. So I was very impressed with this dramatic decrease in LV and dust pressure. And ma it made me wonder how this would influence left atrial physiology, because as you know, there's a tight link between LA physiology and the LV EDP. So one day, I came up with this idea of putting on a pressure volume catheter inside the left atrium. This is me when I still had my hair. <laughs> so we were fortunately puncturing the atrial septum on a daily basis to acquire direct LA pressure. So I, we just put the catheter in. This is how it looks under fluoro and ex vivo. This is how we look up the left atrium from, from the LV side. And it worked. So this is an example of a PV loop in one of the pigs two weeks after MI. We have, of course, put in Pera, P2, P4, P6, and P8. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so the LA PV loop looks like this infinity mark. And the left side of the loop is during the contraction. As the, the LA contracts, the pressure goes up and the volume goes down. Once the mitral valve closes, the LA relaxes, and here comes the uh, passive filling phase when the blood flow from the pulmonary veins fills the LA gradually. And when the LA is stiff, the slope becomes steeper because the same amount of volume increase would raise a lot of pressure. So this slope is considered an index of LA stiffness. And in, indeed, in patients with cardiac diseases, they have steeper slopes. So we paid attention to these slopes before and after in Pella in our pigs. And interestingly, we found decrease in the steepness of the slope in majority of the pigs. So it's, it indicates that LA stiffness is reduced when the impella is supporting LA, LV. So what does this mean? I thought it this way. When there is an MI, LV end pressure goes up, so does the LA pressure. And increased LA pressure stretches LA, and once the LA is stretched, it becomes harder to expand more, so it's sort of stiff. But by placing an impilla, it reduces the LV end pressure, and eventually, alleviates this LA stretch, so it's not stiff anymore. Indeed, we found a significant decrease in LV and dust pressure, and this pressure correlated well with the mean LA pressure, as well as the maximum LA volume. We also looked at the LA function, uh, LA ejection fraction, or in other words, emptying function was improved when the impeller was supporting LV. But importantly, this was not associated with increased atrial load, because this area of A-loop, which reflects the active atrial work, was reduced with impella support. And also, the DPDT maximum of the LA was reduced when impella is in place. So it's, it was, the LA was rather unloaded, despite improved LA emptying function. 
next question we had is whether this reduced LA stretch and LA unloading would influence arrhythmias. So we paced the right, right atrium using burst pacing protocol. And we were able to induce these atrial tachycardias in majority of the pigs. Actually, 70% of the pigs went to eat these arrhythmias. One pig went to eat VT after short-term AFib. But placing an impella in the LV, we, this inducibility reduced to 30%. We also measured the duration of these arrhythmias. So from the start until the spontaneous termination of these arrhythmias, and it was also significantly decreased when the LV was supported with impella. Interestingly, there was a correlation between this duration of arrhythmias and the maximum LA volume, suggesting that LA stretch may be playing a role in arrhythmia maintenance. Next, we wondered what mechanism underlies at the molecular level. There is a paper that showed stretching, stretching the cardiomyocytes in vitro induces oxidative stress and then increases spontaneous calcium activities, which is arrhythmogenic. So we looked at NADPH oxidase 2 levels, which is a source of reactive oxygen species at the membrane because it's, because it's related to stretch, and found that NOx2 level goes up in in the LA after MI, but it was reduced in the pigs that underwent two hours of LV impella support. This was also associated with uh, reduced phosphorylation of ryanogen receptors, which likely reduces diastole calcium leak through this channel, thereby inhibiting arrhythmias. So in conclusion, we found that LV unloading with impella not only reduces LV and dust pressure, but it also influences its upstream and reduces LA stretch, unloads LA, and inhibits arrhythmias through inhibiting the stretch-dependent oxidative stress. Last, I would like to thank my amazing mentor, Dr. Hajar, and my colleagues for their tremendous support and to Abhi Omed for supporting our, uh, our, our project and giving me this great opportunity to present our data today. Thank you for your attention.